Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to show you a little procedure where I can highlight cells where the date has exceeded a particular date so that the overdue dates stand out with uh, some conditional formatting. First of all, let's look at the formula that I have in cell C3. It is simply the today formula, equal today, open and close a bracket. That will always show me the date from the computer's clock. <clears throat> now what I want to do is in uh, cell C4, I'm going to type a little if statement in here and say equals if what is in D4 is less than what is in C3 and I'll need to use dollar C dollar 3 because I always want Excel to look at that particular cell then I want the words overdue otherwise leave the cell blank close the bracket press enter and obviously that account is overdue now I'll auto fill that down and I can simply double click there because there's information in the column to the left and it shows me the overdue accounts but what if I wanted to have overdue accounts be highlighted in some way so that they stand out so what I'm going to do is to conditionally format that cell by going into the conditional formatting button, the command there, and make a new rule. And that rule will use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula will be quite simply this. Equal D4 less than dollar C dollar three format that cell with a fill colour we'll say of yellow. When I click OK and OK again the cell is filled in yellow. But I want to copy that uh, down so I'll auto fill down and there are the two cells which are overdue highlighted. Let's say just to test that formula, let's say that Green & Co's account was due on the 18th of January 2014. Control Enter. That also becomes highlighted. So all I did was to use a conditional formatting formula. We'll look at the managing of the rules. And all I did was to use a formula to determine which cells to format. But remember that if you want to always refer to that cell, which will have the date in it, today's date, then you need to use the dollar signs, the um, absolute values. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and there are lots and lots of other Excel exercises, demonstrations and explanations on this channel. Thank you for watching again.